Good morning, boys and girls. Today's Thursday, May 28th, and here's our ELA lesson. All right, today I'm going to read you the story of the week. Alexander Graham Bell, a great inventor, written by Lynn Blayton, illustrated by Guy Francis. A biography is a nonfiction text that tells the story of a person's life. Now we will read about Alexander Graham Bell, the man who invented the telephone. What do you want to find out? Set a purpose for reading. Question of the week. How could a great idea change the way we live? All right, early life. 1847, born in Scotland. 1861, invented wheat dusker. 1863, teaches boys, um, teaches music at school for boys. 1863, teaches speech for deaf children. All right. Alexander Graham Bell was born in Scotland in 1847. His family called him Alec for short. His mother was deaf. His dad helped deaf boys and girls learn how to speak. So if his mother was deaf, she could not hear. His mother could not hear. Alec liked playing music. His mother taught him how to play the piano at an early age. She could not hear, but that did not stop her. She played quite well. Soon, Alec started teaching others how to play. Alec's dad helped deaf boys and girls learn to speak well. Alec liked watching his dad teach. He decided he wanted to teach speech to deaf people too, just like his dad. As a teen, Alec liked studying the science of sound, but what he liked best was inventing things. He daydreamed about things he could make. Alec invented a useful tool. It took husks off wheat stalks with a brush. He also built a gadget that made it seem as if his dog could talk. New home, 1870, goes to Canada, 1871, goes to Boston, 1873, starts spending more time inventing. All right, when he was 23, Alec Bell got awfully sick. He left his boyhood home. He and his family went to Canada. They hoped he would get well in this new place, and he did. When Bell went to Boston in the United States, he taught speech for deaf students like his dad did. Hmm. Bell liked teaching, but he liked inventing things better. He started spending less time teaching and more time inventing. Great idea, 1874, meets Thomas Watson. 1876, invents telephone. Nope, 1922, dies in Canada. All right. One day, while shopping for supplies, Bell met Tom, Thomas Watson. Watson, a skillful toolmaker, had helped many inventors before he met Bell. Bell told Watson about his latest plan for the telephone. Bell and Watson worked long days and nights on Bell's plan. Bell started thinking his plan might succeed. He got a patent for his first telephone. A patent says an inventor owns and can make and sell the thing he or she invents. Here's, here's his patent down here. The first telephone call took place on March 10th, 1876. That day, Bell dropped a jar by mistake. It spilled and he called for help. Mr. Watson, come here, I want you, he called. At least that's how the story goes. Watson came running. He had heard Bell's voice through the wires. The phone worked. There's the phone, there's the wires. Bell traveled many places with his telephone. People watched as he showed them how it worked. 
In a short time, many cities and towns had telephones. Bell kept on inventing things until his death in 1922. He will always keep his place as one of the greatest inventors of all time. And then we have his telephone down here. It has an earpiece and a mouthpiece, and that's in 1922. And then present day. So their telephone looks quite different than ours, doesn't it? All right, boys and girls, please get out your packet. It looks like this. And we'll fill it out together. We'll complete it together, all right? All righty. Please write your name somewhere on the top. And I'll move this over. All right, number one. Who was the great inventor in this story? So there's not a lot of lines, so I'm just going to write. Who is the great inventor? I'm just going to write his name. What was, who's the inventor in this story? Right, Alexander Graham Bell. I'm gonna write it underneath. Alexander Graham Bell, and you'll fill that in on the top. That is number one. Number two. Number two is, what did Alexander Graham Bell invent? What did he invent? What was his big invention, boys and girls? Right, the... Telephone. So you're going to write he invented, he invented the telephone. He invented the telephone. Awesome job. I'm going to erase the top one. Remember, you can always pause the video um, so you don't have to rush. All right, number three. What did Bell like to do best of all what did he like to do best of all right they said he liked teaching right but what did he like doing best he liked he liked inventing best so you could say he liked inventing best. He liked inventing best. Awesome job. I'm going to erase number two. Remember you can always pause the video. All right, number four. Who helped Bell invent the telephone? Hmm, do you remember who was that guy who helped Bell? Right, Thomas Watson helped Bell. So we'll write Thomas. Watson. Oh, squeaking it in, squeaking it in. Helped. Bell. Thomas Watson helped Bell. All right, I'm going to race number three.
All right, number five. Let's look at number five. What happened after Alex, Alexander Graham Bell dropped the jar? So what happened after he dropped the jar? Right, he called for Mr. Watson on the telephone, right? That's how the, the invention of the telephone happened. He called Mr. Watson on the phone like it traveled through the vi wires. All right, so he called, called for Mr. Watson on the telephone. He, he called for Mr. Watson on the telephone. All right, I'm gonna erase number four. All right, number six. All right, what did this prove? So, what happened when, what happened after Alex, Alexander Graham Bell dropped the jar? He called for Mr. Watson on the telephone what did this prove? The telephone worked, right? So number six, the the telephone, squeaking it in, worked. The telephone worked. Awesome job. Flip to the back. And the back doesn't have a number. Um, it's just the last question. And I'll erase number five so I can write it on the top. All right. Who, here we go. There's not a wrong answer here. Who do you, who do you call on the telephone? Hmm. Who might you call on the telephone and why? So I would say, I call my mom on the telephone. I call my mom on the telephone to But you can have a different answer because maybe you want to call your dad or maybe you call grandma or grandpa or a friend. All right, and then on the very bottom it says, what does your telephone look like? So I drew a picture of me and that's um, a picture of an iPhone, right? Looks very different. Our telephones look very different nowadays. All right. Remember, you can always rewatch the video, boys and girls. If you um, need more time or are confused, you can always rewatch the video. You can always pause the video. All right, I quickly wanted to go over another thing. All right, so on Friday, I assigned a Friday packet for ELA and a math sheet that looks like this. Boys and girls, these are optional. I would be thrilled if you did it. It's a great practice, but these are review. I do want you to complete the Friday math um, test, math quiz. Please complete that. That is the only thing I'm looking for on Friday, tomorrow. These are optional. I'd love to see them. But you know what? It's beautiful outside. Go enjoy the nice weather. I just want this one worksheet for Friday. Awesome job, boys and girls. I miss you so much. Keep up the great work. I'm so proud of you. Remember, wash your hands. Love you. Bye.